we've insulated it on the outside because it makes it easier from the inside. We didn't have to do so many changes there. And uh, it makes the house look just like it used to before, which was of um, rendered appearance. Behind here is this, again, 100 millimeters of a polystyrene insulation. The material is cut where necessary to take small pipes, but large pipes have to be taken to the outside of the building and, and extended out so that the material goes behind. That is fixed to the walls with these things here. There's a hole drilled and these are pushed through here and then the top of it is hammered in and it's also got an adhesive fixing. Where it comes to the corners, we use this mesh that's fixed on before it's plastered. So you can see that protects the corner of the building. We chose the installer from the internet and there is a 15 year guarantee on the work. It only took a week to do, and we're very pleased with that. Just make sure that your installers are improved and individually certified, not just the firm, before you proceed. There can be planning issues when you do outside insulation, because you change the look of the property. In this case, the look of the property did not change, and we chose it only for the back and sides of the house, not the front where the Victorian details absolutely should not be obscured. Each case will be different, but you have to think carefully of the planning issues. The external wall insulation cost £9,000 and there was a grant from Camden of £1,500, so the total cost was down to £7,500. In the future, the government schemes of Eco and Green Deal will reduce the costs even more. As it is, we got a 15 year payback time and we got a very comfortable house too. Now it only drops a degree or degree and a half overnight, even in the coldest weather. So we've got a five star comfort house as well as a highly cost effective payback.